a new regime we are seeing in professional wrestling as Triple H has taken charge of World Wrestling T Entertainment as a COO in place of McMahon as he has retired a couple weeks ago on Raw. CM Punk, WWE Champion. John Cena, WWE Champion. Two WWE Champions, one title. More on everything in a minute. First, welcome to John's Wrestling Views. I am your host, John. Thanks for tuning in. Um... A lot going on in professional wrestling, especially Raw, well, WWE in general, but Raw especially. With Triple H as the new executive officer, the new guy in charge, now that Vince McMahon has retired. Um, first thing of business, he brought back JR to, the, to commentary on Monday Night Raw. Uh, he claims he re-signed John Morrison. John Morrison was never, like out of the picture he was just injured which I thought was silly but it is what it is and then the biggest decision he has done thus far is re-signing CM Punk who left money in the bank as WWE Champion that was after Rey Mysterio won the title in an eight-man tournament defended that title against John Cena later that night John Cena wins the championship that's when CM Punk makes his return with his new theme song Cult Personality um, and so what does Triple H decide to do in all this? Let's have two WWE Champions, and by SummerSlam we'll make it one, as the two will face each other, uh, in kind of a, uh, an undisputed WWE Championship match. Uh, if it's anything like how their match at Money in the Bank was, expect a great match. Uh, their match at Money in the Bank, I would say, definitely a five-star match out of five. Um, phenomenal match. CM Punk and John Cena, in my opinion, both have the ability and the capability of uh, putting on a great show, a great match, um, and to put those skills together against each other, you're in store for one great match. Um, and, you know, Triple H, you know, one's got to think and question what kind of big decisions is he going to be making now that he is the guy in charge of World Wrestling Entertainment. You know, McMahon did some great things for the WWE in the past to make it, you know, for the fans, like, to make fans want to tune in every Monday, every Friday, every Thursday, when SmackDown was on Thursday. Um, what's next? McMahon was always great at building storylines and so on and so forth, signing some great talent. Now it's Triple H's job. Let's see what he has in store. So far, not doing so bad, at least on TV. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more done backstage that he does that none of us have really realized. A couple things that really stick out to me, though, as a fan um, of what I'm wanting to see or what has the possibility. Um, the other night I was talking to Drew Wicks, and he uh, suggested two things that Triple H does. One, get rid of the stupid anonymous general manager garbage going on on Raw right now, but if you've noticed, since McMahon retired, since Triple H has taken over, there has been no interruptions from the general manager, no announcements from the general manager. Maybe that's a sign. You know, I heard somewhere that Triple H was the general manager. Hmm. Wonder if they're just, if it's completely dead now or what their plan is, but so far I'm actually enjoying not having to be interrupted by the general manager. Of course, one's got to presume that Triple H is only going to be on TV for so long with these storylines now that he just took that role of COO. Um, he won't be there for a good long time, just as McMahon wasn't always there. Then maybe we'll start hearing from the general manager, the general manager again, whoever that may be. Who knows? Um, the other thing Drew mentioned that he wants to see done is to rebuild the tag team division. Right now, the tag team champions are Michael McGillicuddy and David Otunga, but nobody's really seen them. You know, Nexus is pretty much done for now that CM Punk is his own person, which, by the way, is going over real well in WWE. I've been super impressed with that whole storyline, if you haven't been able to tell. Um, but yeah, they're tag team champions, but the only way to really see them is to watch WWE superstars. You know, they aren't really in storylines, rivalries. Um, they had a match this last Monday, last night, against uh, Santiago Morella and Zack Ryder, um, two popular individuals in the WWE, uh, especially Zack Ryder. You know, his internet show is really picking up. 
Um, guy's an entertaining guy. Expect great things from him in the future, especially under Triple H's leadership as it is right now. Um, and you know, last Monday on Raw last night, I I could see steps in progression towards the uh, uh, rebuilding a tag team division. Um, more specifically, there was a great tag team match last night between The Miz and R-Truth versus Rey Mysterio and John Morrison. Neither team are really tag teams, but the way um, Miz and R-Truth won and then afterwards uh, both attacking Morrison they, the way they did, I can actually see a tag team brewing between those two, which honestly they'd be a great tag team. Um, both are trying to be singles wrestlers, but how about we put these two singles wrestlers um, be another uh, late day Hardy Boys where they're you know they're a tag team yet they're both focused in single divisions as well as both wrestlers have the capability of doing great with both ideas um, which would have to lead presumably have to lead uh, McGillicuddy and Otunga to lose the tag team titles to somebody else for the fact that they're a heel tag team and so is Miz and R-Truth. How about I say let's build more of the R-Truth Miz tag team. Have some team out of nowhere, maybe another new fresh team. Take the titles from McGillicuddy and Otunga. Maybe even the Usos. Maybe uh, maybe even Santino and Zack Ryder. Who knows? Um, they're bound to lose the tag team titles at some point. But... You know, we WWE's got a lot of work to do if they want to rebuild their tag team division. Especially, you look at their competition, TNA, and, you know, they never really mention TNA. But TNA has always had a great tag team division, in my opinion. You know, you have the teams like Beer Money and the Motor City Machine Guns and the British Invasion. And uh, now there's uh, Mexican America. And, you know, just so many great tag teams. And they always seem to have great tag team rivalries. You know, they made a mistake in a lot of people's eyes by splitting up Team 3D or their Dudley boys, but, you know, still, even so, and, you know, with both Hardys gone, um, maybe they'll come back as a tag team, but they just, they've just they always had a great tag team division. You know, WWE, I don't know if you ever want to take pointers from TNA, but, you know, you're, you're ahead in the competition as it is. Maybe make more of a tag team division. It'll put you even more head and shoulders above the competition. Just an idea. And I couldn't help but think last night, CM Punk mentioned a bunch of names who were just kind of let go of from WWE. Um, some great athletes or entertainers who were let go of because um, WWE didn't care as much or Vince McMahon didn't care as much according to him. And I couldn't help but listen to those names he said. He said Batista, Chris Jericho, uh, Mick Foley, and then he said Brock Lesnar. But I couldn't help but think... Batista, Mick Foley, Chris Jericho, you know, Lesnar's in UFC, I don't expect any sort of WWE return from him any time in the next few years, but Batista, couldn't get an MMA career worked out like he wanted, maybe we'll see him again one day, Chris Jericho, everybody's been wanting him to come back, you know, Dancing with the Stars is over with, he's still doing some work with Fozzie and so on and so forth, but he has every intention of coming back, who knows, um, Maybe we'll see him soon, especially with CM Punk bringing up his name. Mick Foley just left TNA not too long ago. Um, wasn't really happy with his position there. Definitely one of those people who we should be considered for the Hall of Fame in the next few years. Maybe we'll see some sort of Mick Foley return somehow. Um, I don't know. I couldn't help but notice that last night in Raw. Let's see if they go anywhere with it. Um, overall, and then you know, on SmackDown, you got Randy Orton and Christian still rivaling. Christian's a champion. It's going to be the two of them in a no-holds-barred match at SummerSlam. Uh, once again, you got two great athletes here in a rivalry. Their rivalry has been watered down, in my opinion. It's not been as good as it should be. Um, but you got two guys who can put on a phenomenal match, put them against each other, no disqualifications at SummerSlam. We're in for a pretty good SummerSlam, folks, let's just face it. Um, excited to see where things go from here. Alberto Del Rio, money in the bank. Who knows when he'll cash in. One would presume will be sometime fairly recent or fairly soon to come. Um, Daniel Bryan, SmackDown's Money in the Bank claims he's waiting until WrestleMania, <laughs> which if he's gonna wait that long, and then you have John Cena and The Rock as Raw's main event. Man, I'm I'm excited. You know, WrestleMania is still eight months away, but it's exciting to see how they're gonna keep building throughout the 
the rest of the year to make WrestleMania. We just have to see what's in store next. Uh, but now is a great time to be watching wrestling just as any other. But that's all for tonight. Once again, thanks for tuning in. I'm John. Have a good one.